you just do you and I'll do me and that's on period. hi there hi hello <laughs> welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new i go by the name of tembi sile aka tembi that is the short version of my name tembi sile and you can also call me the prom queen yeah that's my other name you can also call me the prom queen welcome back to my channel for those who um have been viewing and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do the right thing and do subscribe to my channel but if you are viewing for the very first time please do the right thing also and do subscribe to my channel welcome by the way welcome not to be rude welcome yeah man welcome to this channel i go by the name of tembi you can call me tembi or you can also call me the prom queen yeah <laughs> so as you can see by the title of this video we are going to get more into details about being a content creator or wanting to become a content creator what are the challenges that you might face well i am a content creator i've been a content creator for like two years now and i am calling myself a content creator because i'm continuing with the content i am mostly focusing on vlogs i started with the beauty content creating type of thing i started with makeup just to make it clear i started with makeup and it didn't quite go well so that's the reason why i actually created this video i just want to brief you a little bit uh, more about the challenges as you can see i actually do not have a lot of subscribers but i will tell you that in my two years of experience i have experienced a lot of challenges hence probably i do not have a lot of subscribers so i'm going to share my experience with you guys so do stay tuned and do listen okay so on point number one I think I have four or either five points that I'm going to share, but I'm going to be brief on my points. I'm not going to complicate things and whatsoever. No, we're going to be brief. So point number one is spending on your content. If you decide on your content, do make sure that you decide on a content that you will be able to afford constantly, you know, more frequently if you are like me and you like makeup and you would like to share how you use your makeup or do makeup tutorials you need to make sure that you become more creative and also um it does also count from your pocket so what you could do what you need to do at some point is to buy makeup products obviously and that is money i mean we don't buy with stones right we don't just pick up stones and buy so you need to spend on your content meaning that if you want to create a beauty um beauty videos or focus on the beauty makeup content you really need to update yourself on the makeup products and you know makeup brands and all that so in that way you need to spend your own money in order to make money i hope you get what i'm saying now, point number two is competition do you know that on this platform there's a lot of competition so you need to know what makes you different what makes you unique from others and also how is your content different from others and also how will you really make it you know so one thing about the makeup um the makeup content i'll make an example on it mainly because i've been there you know and i think i'm still there so <laughs> yeah so as i was saying with the makeup content um on point number one i did mention that you need to spend on your content so when it comes to competition if you get to realize something most people are doing the same content most people are entering into the youtube industry if i might put it like that using the makeup content or the beauty content if i might put it like that so in that form there's a lot of competition so what makes you different is your makeup that good enough or is your 
content you know being about being creative or learning and making it more fun you know so you could also do it like that in a way that it becomes different so there's a lot of competition and we kind of like doing the similar thing so what makes you different you just need to find that one thing that will make you different point number three not having much to give when it comes to content creating at times people like myself do not really have busy lives or friends you know that will go out that you will be able to go out with or either share content with and all that so it becomes slightly not slightly but much more difficult for you to share your to share content or to share similar content with how other people are sharing for an example a vlog mostly on vlogs people are going out yeah people are going out and you're staying at home like 80 percent of your life you're probably at home just like me i know one thing about myself i'm actually at work monday to monday to monday to friday but i work less than eight hours so yeah i do have 60 percent of being at home and then 40 percent of work and my social life so what i'm trying to say is that at times you don't have much to give and that is one of the challenge that i come across i don't have much to give i don't have much to show i actually have the same thing over and over again as much as i can be creative I can slightly be creative on my vlogs. I can uh, uh, think of, you know, probably renovating my room or either um, having a maintenance vlog whereby I just do my hair, I just do my nails, or either I buy something, then I get to show it to you guys. Those are the small details that actually count on my vlogs. And that's actually what makes my vlogs a different over and over again i'm not saying that they're different from other youtubers no today's vlog might be different from the vlog that i'll be shooting anytime soon you see that's exactly what i'm trying to say not not having much to give is one of the challenges that some of us do come across or you might actually come across i'm not sure what point is this but we continue another point is learning from others be able to learn from others. You know, what is the challenge about learning from others? The challenge about learning from others is that at times you might learn how to better your content, but you might not be able to be like them. You don't have to be like them. You can just be yourself. So learning from others doesn't mainly mean that you need to be like them. Learning from others teaches you to actually do better to actually pick up some points but not be like them you will never be like them that's the thing and also learning from others can actually sometimes be a bit overwhelming because you can see that they actually made it and you want to reach to that level so the level that you at it's kind of like a little bit lower than where you're trying to reach but do have faith so that is one of the challenges learning from others it's not always easy or either motivational or encouraging but do take my advice that when you learn from others pick up a point you shouldn't want to be them but do look up to them that's actually what I'm trying to say. So the last point is finding the type of content. Finding the type of content is having to put out a content that people will be able to search for. The type of content that people want to search for, like how to cook eggs, for an example. That is something probably 40 okay i'm not sure about the percentage but something that a particular a particular group of people might go and search for on youtube because it's cooking it's practical it shows what to do so you know those type of content they actually do get some numbers because they get to see the practicals of doing it so when you get to give content out there do give content that 
give content that people will search for that's something i'm actually working on and that's something which is actually true enough for you to get numbers when it comes to the challenge of a type of content is having to think on which content do people really go out there to search for and also do search hard for competition how's the competition on the content that you would like to give uh, for in case when it comes to drawing eyebrows one would search i mean a lot of people bef especially before the pandemic a lot of people went on searching on how to draw brows how to do to draw your wing how to uh put on fake lashes you know how to do a full face bed and whatsoever that's what people search for when it comes to makeup content so if you want to put some content out there the most challenging one of okay not the most but one of the challenging part about it is having to know the ideal searches that people do what people would like to learn what people would like to know what people would definitely go to youtube and search for last but not least when it comes to creating videos the title right there it's very important if you want people to search and find you and the rest of the people just make sure that you put a title that is searchable just like how to make eggs and your title definitely has eggs it will appear you know you know what i mean so yeah man i hope that this video becomes very helpful but also my last motivation to you is that everyone has his or her own time so don't rush it do not focus on the ending but focus on the process itself and man, i hope that this video helps you and changes your mind when it comes to content creating meaning that um, you will be able to just pick up your phone and use it as soon as possible and also draw down write down your ideas do write down um whatever what content that you would like to give out there plan everything plan everything ahead and you know for some of us it does take time for us to reach where we want to go but it might work out for you within six months within a year within you know it can be less than six months it might be a month i mean but one thing for sure the reason why i'm also sharing these challenges it's not only because i faced them but also it's because it's something that i'm trying to uh, put effort when it comes to my videos so yeah man let's hope for change when it comes to my videos also to my channel and i also hope to see you soon on youtube okay thank you so much for watching please also do not forget to subscribe like comment and do the most by ringing the notification bell so that you can be notified on my upcoming videos thank you so much guys for watching do stay safe and keep safe i'm out